All right, guys, our initial break-in is done. We're at 3.3 uh, hours. Did a little test run earlier to uh, make sure I was over three. Went ahead and changed the oil. Um, yeah, I mean, we can pretty much shred as hard as we want, up to 90% throttle. So it's rare that I'm hitting 100%. So we're just gonna do a quick little uh, loop. We've got a couple things to do today. We got about 30 miles on the bike now. A little more comfortable. We kind of understand how things work. The new GPIs and everything, and just the power difference in between uh, a 90, 95 and a 23 is insane. power huh I don't normally come from this side so to be honest I kind of forgot there was rich right there I mean, we don't really buy fancy stuff. We hate buying new stuff. We don't like <laughs> ruining new things, you know what I mean? I got some uh, Amazon gloves. An old BMX helmet, no goggles, I wear glasses and it's just kind of a headache. So buying a new bike was really uh, out of character for us. But let me tell you what. Absolutely no regrets. Now the initial break is like over. So I mean we can really just abuse this bike for the most part. getting it today we're not really trying to do a one take but it's looking like it might just be a one take familiar with this area but holy crap 
crap, is this fun? <laughs> I'm gonna actually oh. I'm gonna actually have to take a fatigue break. That arm pump is hitting me pretty hard right now. You can't tell me if you watch my other videos that buying a new bike for me was a freaking They feel pretty, uh, whoa, loose, that's what I was worried of. Oh, ow. Oh, right in between the knuckles. Ah, oh, too much because I'm numb. Whoa, what am I getting into? <laughs> uh, it looks like fresh track, so. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> This is a great intro. Well, that should sum it up for you guys on uh, how I'm feeling about the new bike. <laughs> I'm not very good at hopping. Hopping logs. I don't really know the technique and stuff like that, so. Looks like I just came to it. I would have probably tried that log if I would have seen this trail, but... <laughs> Easy work with a log in front of it. Easy work. Problem with the new news, you don't know what's coming. Ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, those things hurt. All right, we cut just long enough for my glasses to get bogged up. Try to get a little distance. There we go. I hope I started tracking because I have no idea where I'm at. But yeah, life's pretty good. I mean, the girlfriend doing great. Gonna take a trip with my son today, actually. So I gotta try to hurry up here and get as many miles as I can. So we can still enjoy the weekend together. Pretty cool new new. Can't really rip through this though. I'm tired as you can tell. My face is significantly slowed. I'm trying to fight the pain in my shoulder and the arm pump. What the heck? Oh, it's 
try a second one. Nice! Nice! This bike just makes everything so easy. I mean, I got pretty lucky they were uh, laid straight, straight in front of me across. They weren't diagonal. There was no way I was going to make that diagonal. Whoever said that the XCW 300 is lacking power is insane. I can't imagine you would need much more power than this thing supplements. To be honest, most of that was second gear. Even when we were flying, uh, I think we were just touching third gear. Still don't trust these tires around the corners. They just, they just feel loose, bald almost. AT81s, I believe, are the stock tires. This bike is still bone stock. Everything about it, except for the gear oil now has changed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a little bit tired. That intro <laughs> had me hanging on for dear life. See, like that, my back end swiveled because it's a little bit diagonal. Those things are dangerous. Ooh, a little javelin. Maneuverability and stuff around the tight single track seems to be much better. I don't know if it's because all the counterweights and everything they've done to the bike itself, or if it's just because everything is new and everything works. Ooh. Thing. It's just incredible. Oh, I was kind of worried my back was going to slip and hit that other rock. Let's freaking go. This is the one we just zipped right up. Whee! <laughs> Dude. Do we dare? No. Not by myself. A little drop off. Oh, there's another little climb down here. Maybe. used to be uh, that'd be fun but not by myself with a little drop off down there I'm not trying to lug my bike around everywhere so one thing i wanted to ask you guys is um you know i'm kind of running out of uh riding options as far as like 
wear and, and stuff like that. Um, I know that we plan on doing Lee Alum this year and Gifford. At least I would like to. I would also like to check out like Utah, but I mean just, just up here in the Pacific Northwest, Washington. Is there anywhere you guys ride you think that you that I should check out? I mean so who y'all that that's all kind of like boring. Capital Forest even kind of became a little boring. But we're still gonna hate it a lot this year. I'd love to find uh, new trails out there as well, like we're finding out here today. But Capital Forest is just, it's not really, there's a lot of tracks out here. It's not really that challenging anymore. So, it's still fun and you can get a lot of miles really easy. It's nice and flowy and... Is there any recommendation as far as, I guess, upgrades or anything for the 2023 XCW 300? Or have you guys pretty much just kept the stock? I have no complaints. Tires would be a, a main complaint for sure. I mean, power is just always there. I don't think I need to do anything there. Suspension's all right. I would like to loosen the front a little bit and the rear, but I mean, at the, at, at the, someone's been here. The way that we ride, I mean, hitting some of these bumps at speed, you know, it's kind of nice having the little stiffer suspension. Another thing I want to do, uh, kind of discuss, I guess, is I do want to uh, do some enduro races or anything, poker runs, anything. Oh. Uh, if you guys have any information on any of that or how I can uh, look into it or get started on it, I've never done a race. I've never done any kind of poker run. Everything I've done, I've just done on my own in the trails, so. I love, now that I have a new bike, reliable bike, um, I'd love to get into something. Whether that be starting off in poker runs or just starting off straight in an enduro race. 100% I want to do something this year. Probably multiple things if it goes well. Um, I really want to test my limits. But I also kind of want to see how I am as a rider. I, I mean, I have no idea other than just the people I've rode with and quite a few people I've rode with are better than me, but I've also been on such an old bike. You know, it didn't matter what I was riding, it was an old beat up bike. And now that I have a, a new bike, you know, I, obviously I can climb up some of these things like, like no problem. And I mean, even putt up some of it if I'm really sketched out. skills and everything I don't know if I'm a great rider you know I think I'm a decent rider I've come across a lot of people who can ride better than me so I know I'm nowhere near the best I've only rode with one person who's done some enduro races and he's a class C not the best not the greatest but I'll tell you what he rode a lot better than I could and he's only, I think the best he's done is second place in C. So. I'd love to see how I could place or whatever. What am I doing with myself today? We're just trying to explore everything we can today. Looking for some new trails. We're getting a little bored out here at Green Mountain. Um, 
it's definitely fun but we're coming across like the damn see the same trails like over and over i've been up this one probably four times so it just it gets a little repetitive it's not any less fun if anything it might be a little more fun because you kind of know what's coming a little bit you know you know there's no logs in the middle of the road so you can kind of haul ass i have been down here one time i remember this i was very tired coming down here my arms were killing me I don't remember where it leads, so. I thought I remember that being a lot steeper than it was. This probably goes back to the horse camp. I don't really remember this. Gotta be careful on these, they're so slick. I did, a, I did a burnout trying to be cool one time and just straight over the bars, fish tailed everywhere. be a couple uh, good interesting videos so hopefully this is keeping you guys entertained a little bit because it is fun as hell for me probably gone almost 10 miles no brakes yet couple camera pauses I don't remember any of this but I know we have to be close to that horse tail over that and I could not See, being out here like this riding like this makes me feel like I'm a pretty decent rider yep I think you guys understand how hard I've been riding today. I am just shredding through everything. This bike is just makes everything such quick work. It doesn't take a lot of effort to get over things that usually it would. Or maybe I would stall my bike and sit there get exhausted from kicking it over. I've just been riding so hard today. Woo. That's probably the closest call that we've had to hitting something the entire time. 
Oh, man, we're 24 miles deep. We need to get need to get somewhere so we can take a break and figure out how to get back to the other staging. Well, guys, we're probably gonna wrap this one up. We just came from Gold Creek all the way to the rock face, past it. I believe this is Wildcat, so we're just trying to make our way back to uh, Wildcat staging. We kind of got a little bit turned around, so ended up at Gold Creek uh, staging. But let me tell you what, we ripped so hard today. Uh, I hope there's some entertaining stuff in here. I didn't record a lot because some of the segments were pretty long. But uh, hopefully there's some good stuff in those segments. Oh, that was really close. One more thing. I know you guys know, but I freaking, I love this bike. It is insane, everything about it. Not one thing from stock I, I have wanted to change, really. Is there anything I can do to improve, you know, videos or anything like that? Let me know, you know. This is all fun and games for me, but if it's helping one or two of you guys, I'm 100% down. Uh, give me some re recommendations, you know. If you want me to ride somewhere, tell me where. If you want to come ride, let me know when. I'll tell you if I can. So I met up with a couple, a couple of you guys. You guys are great people, so help me help you. We'll see you guys in the next one.